They have no witnesses. I moved on her like a bitch. There's nobody around. Grab them by the pussy. They just start kissing them. When you're a star, they let you do anything. She is a liar. Believe me, she would not be my first choice. When I hear Trump excuse his sexual assault of women and his horrifyingly cavalier conversations about it as locker room talk, all I can think about is how the person who sexually assaulted me probably says the same thing. She is a liar. Check out her Facebook page, you'll understand. These are comments that I heard in high school. These are comments that I heard in college. These are not things that only Trump says or has done. To say that they weren't telling the truth is ridiculous because who wants to have that much scrutiny? Do you want someone going through your entire sexual history and trying to expose you as a fraud even though you're telling the truth? Frequently I receive threats, people saying that I'm lying, that I'm doing it all for the money. I don't know what money they think I'm receiving. If anything, the experience has cost me more money in terms of counseling bills, medication. I felt embarrassed or that it was my own fault that this happened, even though I know it was not my fault. And that shame comes from from rape culture and the way that we, you know, blame victims or blame ourselves in that situation. The shame that I felt as a victim, I think I let go of that a very long time ago. I think now I'm just dealing with a lot of rage at knowing that this is happening. It's continuing to happen. All the institutions in our country, the government, the media, are interested in really doing that much about it. When a survivor chooses to come forward it has nothing to do with the validity of their experience. Processing trauma and violence often take a great deal of time and emotional energy. When they don't come to the cops, they are seen as a less than perfect victim. And I think we need a greater conversation around why people aren't coming to the cops in the first place. I hope that as a society, we're able to learn from some of these visible cases that it's important to believe the first person who comes forward whenever they're ready to say it and however they're able to say it. Right now, I think liberal or left-leaning Democrat America is like patting itself on the back and being like, this is a Republican issue. It's not, we all have to reckon with this. I believe victims of sexual assault who come forward and I stand in solidarity with those who don't feel safe to do so. I believe them and I love them and I hope that there is someone in their life that they can reach out to.